I'm Scott Allen Miller, and today on SAM IT, I'm going to talk about how your college experience, which could include where you went to college or that you didn't go to college, influences everything that you perceive in your job hunt process. This is an interesting one and something that I think a lot of people don't really think about, but we talk to people all the time and we hear things like, uh, I went to college and that got me my career start. That's how I got where I am today. And that sounds really impressive. And it's generally true. So we then take that information and say, well, we need to go to college to be able to do the same thing. But if you talk to people who didn't go to college, you'll get an opposite story. Well, I didn't go to college and that got me to where I am today. It taught me to be the person I am and I wouldn't have the career I have had I gone to college. This is also true and would tell us that maybe we shouldn't go to college. Both are true things that aren't useful for us in either case. Uh, except to disprove the other. The person who goes to college and is able to get their career going is able to prove that skipping college isn't the only option. And the person who skips college is able to easily prove that going to college is not a requirement. But that's all we're able to prove from those things. The problem is, is that with our own perspectives, any given person can only experience one or the other. So everyone working in the industry has one of the or one story or the other as to how they got there because the path you take in life is the path you take and once you have a college degree it's always something you have and once you skip college that's always something you have until you go to college and then you become part of the other pool but that's it and people who do that switching are very misleading as well because their experience before having gone to college is necessarily much earlier on in their life and much earlier on in market time so they don't know if it's going to college that changed things for them or just the fact that they've been in the industry for an additional four to eight years and that a decade of time has passed and the industry is not what it was before or if they learned other things during that time that's that makes for those types of anecdotes to be very misleading and basically useless to us. But everyone has that perspective. So when you talk to people, it's very important, one, that you understand what they're telling you, right? When someone says, I got to where I am because I went to college, and if they're telling you that to try to convince you to go to college, you need to, one, understand that they're talking about an anecdote that they don't know, they're not comparing it to what they could have been. Right? They're only saying that they got to wherever it is they are. And two, if they're giving it to you in a context where they're trying to promote going to college for that purpose, it means they don't understand and their college education didn't work out as well as it should have because they should instantly know from their college training that that statement isn't useful in the way they're portraying it. So the problem here, and this goes in both directions, I don't mean to pick on one group and not the other, is that people who, for example, go to college will tell you, oh, I got to where I am because I went to college, as if it got them farther than where they would have gone had they not gone to college, but that's what they don't know. What you can assume is that they'd be someplace different, but it might be way behind. It might also be way ahead. And that's what we tend to see when we look at these people is that there's a trend that the people who went to college are behind the people who didn't go to college. But it's very, very hard to get those statistics, and it's impossible to prove on an individual basis what would have happened. So we never really know. But that's what's being left out of those kinds of statements. The person who didn't go to college can say, look, I'm a manager at 30 and I'm making 100 k I did really well without going to college. It's skipping college that got me to where I am. But they don't know what going to college would have gotten them. Maybe they'd have been 30 and making 120 k and already been a manager for two years. Trends suggest that going to college is less beneficial than going to college. But they're big trends and they're almost impossible to prove. The reality is that your individual experience is far bigger of a factor than either of the other things. Your willingness to go out and learn, your ability to interview, your uh, willingness to relocate, your ability to um, learn things on your own, picking job categories that are uh, in high demand or at least high demand for the industry or location you want to be in, these kinds of things play a significantly larger role than your decision to go to school or not to go to school. And so we really have a bigger problem, maybe more than anything else, caused by the fact that your educational process, because there are advantages to college, clearly, and there are advantages to skipping college, clearly, these two may equal each other out enough 
that the decision actually becomes practically background noise for the majority of people and other factors in your life, such as your personality, your aptitude, your motivation, play so much of a role that we can't look at these other things as being significant. And that's what it's really important to understand because when people are telling you how they got to where they are, that's useful for knowing that that is a path that can work. But it is not useful for learning that it's a path that rules out the other paths. That's an important way of looking at that. So we have great perspectives. College can be highly successful for you, but we can guarantee that skipping college can be really beneficial for you. Either way works just fine. You have opportunities regardless of what you do, but those opportunities are not tied to the skipping or the going. They're tied to you. Thanks for joining me here on Sam IT. I hope that this was useful and helps you understand why people portray college and not skipping college, just education in general, in the way that they do. Everyone is seeing the world from their own perspective, uh, and we just have to understand that and see that context when we're talking to people because it helps us understand the advice and information that they're giving to us. Remember to like and subscribe, and you can sponsor us on Patreon.